Hello world, it's the Surfing Scratcher here bringing you another video connecting the world of Scratch to maths. If you haven't already, check the description below for links to previous videos as this one is part of a series. In this video, we're going to be connecting the expand notation at the bottom of our screen to the score in the top left hand corner, right there. So let's get stuck into it. Okay, so here we are back in our space value scratch project for the level five sixes. As you can see, I've gone ahead and I've hooked up the hundredths and the thousandths as well. But before we get stuck into it, I just want to bring your attention to a couple of bugs that I've encountered with the Scratch platform, and it's to do with adding decimal numbers together. I'll show you what I mean by that. So if I go through and I click my thousands here, you'll see my thousands update as they should. Now we know that if my thousands are greater than nine thousands, then I want to regroup and add a hundredth. But have a look at what happens when we get uh, past 8,000, so even 9,000. So here we are at 8,000. I'm going to press this one more time. Now you would expect this to go to 9,000. Here we go. It goes back to zero and we regroup. So there's a bug in here and it shouldn't, that, that's not what we, we would expect to be happening. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to change this um, to 91 ten thousands now. So if I put a one there, now it says when my thousands are greater than nine thousandths and one ten thousandths, so ninety one ten thousandths. Let's go again and click this. One thousandth, two thousandths, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So it actually works now. What value is it? Like you would expect it to be uh, nine thousandths. If we go over here to our thousandths variable and we click on it, it will tell us what the actual value of this variable is. So I'm going to click it and look, it is nine thousandths, but it's got this really obscene small number, like really, really, really tiny number that's added to it out of nowhere. I don't know where that's come from, but it just appears to be a bit of a bug in the Scratch platform. So just something to look out for uh, while we're doing this. So to get this, if you've encountered that same bug, uh, all you need to do is just add a 10,000th in there, uh, which is kind of good practice for our uh, decimals. Anyway, okay, so Let's get actually into what we are planning to do in this lesson, and that is to finally hook up our score here, our expanded notation, up to the score in the left-hand corner. And before we actually get into the code, let's jump over into the plan. Okay, so we're over here in my Scratch Planner now, and you save up the stage, the variables, and the sprites. We're actually gonna be working in the stage sprite because that's where we've got some code already set up uh, to handle the calls to update this score. So. What is it that we need to be doing? Well, we know we've got our expanded notation here and what we're going for is we need to smush all this together so we can represent our score value up the top. So what we're going for is something that looks like this. So 5.159, that's what I would expect uh, my score to be if, if it was up here with these current values. So the way that we would do that is quite simply, all we need to do is add our units to our tenths to our hundredths, to our thousands. Pretty basic addition there. That's all we need to do to take our expanded notation and create a decimal representation. So we want to set our score, or set the score to basically that. I'm not gonna go and write and bore you with all that because it's all right here. We wanna set our score to our units plus tenths plus hundredths plus thousands. It's exactly what we need to do. So now that I've got my plan in place, let's go ahead and actually implement it. Cool. So I mentioned that we're gonna be doing this in the stage area. And the reason for that is um, I've gone ahead in the project starter and set up a forever loop here with a custom block called update score. And conveniently, that's what we're going to be uh, using. So if you refer back to our code, we need to set the score. So I know if in, I'm in the variables here, we know score is a variable and to get a set block. So let's go get a set block, set the score. That's the one that we're interested in right now. So if I click that, it's not gonna do anything because we've, we're setting it straight to zero. If I set my score to one and I click that, look, beautiful, my score is uh, set to one, but that's no good because it'll always be one. So let's go through and make this actually functioning. We know that we need to add these together. So to do that, we're gonna need an operator block. So I'm gonna get an addition operator here. I'm gonna jump back to my variables. So we could just square from left to right. You can actually add these in any order that you wanted to because it's addition. 
Not the case for all of them though. Um, if we were doing subtraction, uh, it would be a little bit different. So let's get our units and our tenths. Okay, beautiful. Units plus tenths plus... Okay, there's not enough space here to enter in our other two variables. So what we'll need to do is actually go ahead and grab another operator. Okay, and we can put this block. Um, I like to put them sort of in the second one, but yeah, just to mimic what we've got going on here, I'll make it match so you can see that nice and clear. Great, so I've got my units, got my tenths. I'm gonna add our hundredths. So I could go ahead and put my hundredths in there, but I know then I won't have a spot for my thousandths. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and grab another one of these blocks here. And now I know I've got two spots ready for my hundredths and my thousandths to so actually go in there. So let's go get them. Get my hundredths, and then I'm gonna get my thousandths. And that's all in there. The last thing I need to do is I need to put this block inside the set score. All right, with any luck, if I press this, our score should update to 5.189. Here we go. Boom, 5.189. That's exactly what we would expect it to do. Okay, so the last thing that you probably want to account for is the condition of when we've got more than 10 uh, units. So if we go back over to our units and we say we pop, we know that we, uh, when we get to greater than nine units, we broadcast an event 10 popped and we set our units back to zero. So we don't actually add a 10 in there. So you might want to go ahead and create another one of these blocks to handle the case for our tens. We don't actually display our tens, um, but you could go ahead and create a block to handle it. And then when you would go back into your stage, you would actually just grab out another operator and find the tens variable if you had one. We don't have one in here. Um, we could just go ahead and make that. Okay, uh, we could go and grab our tens variable and we would just grab another operator block and we could get our tens in the front and then just add all that in. Now tens is set to zero, so that won't actually do anything. Uh, you'd need to go back over here, duplicate one of these blocks and change, just like you did for the hundreds and the thousands. You need to make one to handle the tens. Okay, and then that would handle the case for when our units and get greater than Ten. So here we go, we're nine, I'll click it one more time and we go back to zero. So we'd expect that to go to zero, but we'd also expect a 10 to be added in at the top here. That's probably all I'm gonna do in this project. I'll leave it to you to hook up the tens. That's all for this video. And that one actually completes our series on space value for our level five sixes. Although I will link to an extension video in the description below. It shows you how to add extra place values as well as getting our objects to sort of zoom around the screen to make it slightly more challenging. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to stay connected to when I release more content, then hit that subscribe button. But until then, I'm off to go find a wave. Take it easy.